Here we go, 13,813. We've got the Mega February Monster Break. It's sad that we still can't do trade nights. I feel like uh, the hobby has grown immensely, so I feel like we're, our trade nights are going to be quite, uh, quite significant, but... And even when we're allowed to do trade nights, I bet we're probably going to have to limit it too, which is going to be kind of annoying, but got to follow the rules. We've got a Marky Rookie for the Dallas Stars, Nick Camano. Dallas is the first one on the board. Young Guns for the Boston Bruins, Trent Frederick. Trent Frederick. Portraits for the Islanders. Portrait rookies of Noah Dobson. Base. The Wall of Stock, yeah. Canvas of Seth Jones for the Blue Jackets. Yeah, we got, uh, I said, we got probably the biggest selection in Canada. Young Guns for the Vancouver Canucks of Brisebois. Can I announce each box? Sure, if you guys want me to. Doesn't cause too much. Normally, I think I do. Emil Bemstrom, Marky Rookie for the Blue Jackets. Blue Marky Rookie of Sandine for the Leafs. Portraits Rookies of Frederick for the Boston Bruins. All right, we've got a Buffalo Sabres, Olafson, Gold Glossy. Barrett Hayton for the Coyotes. And a Jack Hughes for the Devils. All right, so I think, uh, I think Team Carroll went away. I was going to... Hopefully respond to him about that, but he went away. I don't know why. 2021 Series 1. Tin. Good, yeah. Le base. Oh, you're here. Oh, well, this is a shipping thing. Yeah, I'll get Dan to look into the shipping and for you. Portrait of Patterson for the Canucks. In all honesty, and uh, it's a good platform to say it for you guys tonight. It's Heather. What did I say? Did I say Team Carol? I don't know why I said that. We've got a Young Guns of Lafreniere. Young Guns, Lafreniere. And by the way, if any of you guys want any cards graded, please let me know. We can get those uh, organized, sent out for you. Yeah, in terms of shipping, guys, obviously, Canada Post is odd. Yamamoto for the Oilers canvas. Um, we've had quite a few people who have had shipments come in from breaks that are later than other breaks. In all honesty, don't be too worried. It's, it is happening quite a bit. I think mail is just being very, very, very bad lately. Um, Connor Garland for the Coyotes. 99% of you guys have been absolutely phenomenal, and I appreciate that. And you guys can always ask. That's never, never bad. Mikey Anderson, Young Guns, LA Kings. But do understand... We have literally had probably four or five every single week that um, Dazzlers of Bishop for the Dallas Stars that are getting cards from later breaks and then not cards from earlier breaks. Martin Cott for the Avalanche. Martin Cott, glossy gold for the Avalanche. And a Josh Norris for the Ottawa Senators. So that is not unusual, just so you guys know. Like, again, give you guys a quick perspective. We literally had somebody who got their package three and a half months later. 
1920 series 110. So, it sucks. There's not much we can do about it, sadly. But, uh, very few packages ever get lost. They just get delayed. Three and a half months. That is crazy. Young Guns of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Portrait of Larkin for the Red Wings. Well, I like that we got a nice big Laffy already. I like when we get big cards nice and early. Portrait Rookies of Fabro for the Preds. Young Guns of Texier for the Blue Jackets. Actually, not a bad one to get right now. But uh, but Heather, yeah, if you got if you could just pay it, like we're, we'll check in on it for you, of course. But don't be too worried yet. If it doesn't arrive in like two, three, four weeks, then it's kind of one of those we'll get it figured out. Felino canvas for the Blue Jackets. We've got a Quinn Hughes gold rookie for the Vancouver Canucks. Texier for the Blue Jackets, Glossy. And a Fabro for the Preds. But I know for uh, Canada Post, they had two uh, local, I don't know what you want to call them, depots. That got shut down due to, uh, due to COVID. I think the Hamilton one and Toronto one got shut down because of COVID. So that definitely stalled a ton ton of packages and I mean a ton yeah you know it's funny truth so we did ex we did an express package which generally is a one day ship to Montreal and it took 11 days Dylan Ferguson for the Vegas Golden Knights young guns so that's crazy Mar or yeah Marky Ricky Rainbow of Fittenberg for the LA Kings and by the way, just so you guys know, for future, whether you guys join breaks or not, Mark andre Fleury, OPG update. I'm going to try to do an MNT special, as long as they allow that, every Mega Monster that we do. I'm hoping I can uh, get that worked out. John Carlson for the caps. I emailed him on uh, late, late, late Friday, and just didn't hear back, obviously, his weekend. Hapala uh, Young Guns for the Panthers. But uh, I'm going to be a little more prepared for the next one, I think. And generally, they're very good to work with, so I don't see it being a problem. But that's what I'm hoping to do going forward. So, Portrait of Tage Thompson for the Blues. So, whether you join the break or not, I'm hoping I can uh, offer that special for you guys. Alex Debrinkat, Retro Rookie for the Hawks. Marky Rookie for the Boston Bruins of Jake DeBrusque. Nice. For the Flyers, Nolan Patrick. Um, yeah, if you go on their website, I don't know if anyone, uh, if our mods are here and you want to do a link. They have, just like, just like us dealers, uh, they have bulk discounts. Like, for example, if you do, like, 75 plus, you get a pretty damn good rate. Chris Versteeg for the Calgary Flames canvas. Literally, they can go a 90-day service down to $11 a card. Martin Nikas for the Carolina Hurricanes. Marky rookie. Portraits of Riley Barber for the Caps. So... Their rates, honestly, are ridiculously good ridiculously good say that in the uh, what do you call it voice the what's that one movie the fashion model guy I'm trying to remember what it was I saw that the checklist is out yes sir that's awesome 
For the Maple Leafs, Callie Rosen, rookie to $3.99 for Premier. Callie Rosen. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Artifacts, rookie to $7.99, Warren Fugel. Ah, uh, yep, you are right on that. And uh, introductions of Carlo for the Boston Bruins. If the last I heard is PSA is nine months, Beckett's 11 months. That's the last I heard. And then uh, I also heard from one of our members that PSA apparently is lifting up their one service that apparently is uh, roughly six months right now and is $50 US just for the service. That does not include the insurance or the shipping. So you're basically at $100 Canadian um, for close to a six month turnaround. So, as I said, people need to learn to factor in all the costs of these gradings. Milestones of Duncan Keith for the Hawks. We've got a cracked ice of Manny Malholtra for the Carolina Hurricanes. Cracked ice select parallel, Manny Malholtra. We've got a marquee rookie of Matthias Janmark for the Dallas Stars. For the Oilers, 299, Devin Dubnik. What do you mean the same tech regs? I don't know. I apologize. I don't know what that means. We've got for the Tampa Bay Lightning, number to 100, J.T. Brown. J.T. Brown. Young Guns Canvas of Aaron Palusha, Montreal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what technologies any of the companies honestly use. And for the Ottawa Senators, Retro Blue Rainbow Rookie Auto, Matt Quemple. I, I, in my honest opinion, Trudes, all I can say is that whatever rules PSA have, I think they're very lenient on because they gave they give out a bunch more tens than any other company. In my opinion, I think I think MNT is probably the hardest graders in the industry. So. Take that for whatever that means, but that's a nice one. Numbered four of ten, Ryan Kuffner, rookie for the Red Wings. Four of ten. Like, again, this is just my opinion, but I feel like in years down the road, as, uh... Obviously, the hobby keeps growing. I, I honestly feel like people are going to flock way more to MNT because they're going to realize those grades are actually probably realistic grades. Texier for the Blue Jackets, rookie science. I know some people might not be happy with their grade from MNT, but at least I think it's you're you're getting a real grade. Crosby for the Penguins, All Star update. And a Vegas Golden Knights, Mark andre Fleury to $9.99. So, as I said, I, I think I, I think they're going to get a lot more uh, appreciation for their cards. But again, it takes time. It takes time. I don't, we don't need to rush anything. They've only been here for four years. Or five years, or three years, whatever it's been. For the Blue Jackets, Ryan Murray. But I love it. You know, being in Canada, I love having a great option. And honestly, it's probably the uh, it's probably the best value option right now, in my opinion. MVP of Tavares for the Islanders. When you factor in the shipping, the U.S. costs and all that, I, I truthfully believe it's the best value right now. Dino Cicerelli jersey for the Dallas Stars. Uh, I don't think they've done it with Com C yet. I would not be surprised if that's something in the future. I, is Com C really that big in Canada, though? Because I could see Com C wanting to use him for Canadian. 
but Young Guns for the Blue Jackets, Ryan Murray. What does Com C accept right now? Canvas of Evander Kane for the Winnipeg Jets. 1980s of Howard Chuck for the Coyotes. Yeah, you know what though, Ryan? We've had this debate a ton of times. It's always interesting. The honest thing is, uh, we've had this literally debate hundreds of times. MVP, Duchesne for the Avalanche. Do you think anyone that gets a PSA 10 honestly cares whether it's real 10 or not? For the Sabres, Grigorenko. I, like, in my honest opinion, I don't think they do care. Grigorenko, Young Guns. I think the mo like the casual collector, or in general the collector, they're just happy that their card's going to sell for a lot of money. I don't think they care whether it's supposed to be a 9, supposed to be an 8. I think they just want the best money on their card. My opinion. Which I think... I don't know. I feel like if I'm investing in cards, that's kind of the worst possible way to kind of go about it. But, And that's... I agree with you, J&D. I think that's how people look at it, as long as it sells well. Canvas of Seabrook for the Hawks. And I... I I honestly, I do understand that point. Like, I honestly do understand why people would do that. It's just, it blows my mind when I see people paying tons of money for PSA 10s. Nick Dowd, Young Guns for the LA Kings. And like, literally, I click on some of the pictures. Like, I've seen a whole bunch of Matthews recently. And I click on the picture, and I'm like, I can see something wrong with it just by the scan. Shining stars of Gossip Spare for the Flyers. So, you've gotten a 10 or you have not? I'm curious, like, if you did get a 10. Portrait of Ricard Raquel for the Ducks. Are no different. Young Guns for the Jets of Morrissey. Oh, have yet to get a 10. Wow. But that also, like, as I said, it should be like that. Like, with how much these cards are handled, it blows my mind how, how many 10s there honestly are. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like... 10 should be a near perfect card. Like literally a near perfect card. That's kind of what I attribute a 10 as. <laughs> so if I can see something wrong. <laughs> some of the worst cards you see. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> You'll get it too. Portrait of Shen for the Blues. Yeah, like, I don't know. I look at 10s as they should be great. Young Guns for the Avalanche, Martin Cott. Like, again, if I'm spending... I'm trying to think what, a Ma what that Matthews inscribed Future Watch go for, $11,000 a 10. If I'm getting a 10, Matthew, I want that card to be absolutely freaking perfect. Young Guns of Bird and Canvas for the Jets. The only thing is, Ryan, I, it's funny because as a dealer for them, I understand why it's got to be tough for them to do that. Because I've literally had customers get their cards back and go, oh, a 9. That would have been a 9.5 by Becker. Uh, a 9.5 or a 10 by Becker PSA. I'm going to use them next time. Like they literally get mad that their cards came back fair. They acknowledge that it's probably fairly graded, <laughs> but they're mad that it didn't get a 10 or a 9.5. Nine so it, it does go to show you that power to them to stick to their guns on that stuff. Shane Bowers, Young Guns, for the Avalanche. Uh, I have definitely seen that. I There was a Matthews card I was about to bid on, and uh, it got a PSA 10. 
and I legit refused to bid on it because I could see the edges. There's chipping on the edges. Portraits of Ovechkin. And I literally was like, I, I just, no. He's like, I'm not paying a 10 premium for a card that's not a 10. Alex Ovechkin! Dazzlers for the Caps. Canvas of Landeskog for the Avalanche. Young Guns of Johansson for the Buffalo Sabres. And then the other thing I love when people talk about, if they sit there and say that the cards don't sell as well, well then, if they don't sell as well, why are you guys not bidding on them, winning it, getting it graded somewhere else, and making tons more money? In all honesty, would that not just be an easy way to make money? If M&T grades very hard, why would you guys not buy their 9, 9 and a halfs, get it regraded by PSA, get a 10 and make a ton of money? Alexander True for the Sharks. So in my opinion, I feel like that's a good investment. A very smart investment. Portraits rookies for the Ottawa Senators of Josh Norris. PSA, needs, PSA and Beckett just need to catch up. Dazzlers of Fiala for the Wild. By the way, Eric Stahl for the Wild. Oh, there goes the base cards in the garbage. Are you auctioning them, uh, Ryan, or what are you doing? If there's anything uh, that's somewhat decent for chances, I could probably maybe use a few of them. Lucas Carlson, Young Guns for the Hawks. Well, JB, I hope, and I mean this honestly, I hope you get them faster than the, uh, the six, seven, eight, nine months that they're saying about. I, I really do hope you have a good experience. Portrait of Makar for the Avalanche. Vanasek for the Capitals. I wouldn't be surprised on that, Ryan. And a canvas of Shabbat for the Sens. I would not, like, legitimately be surprised. Your mess cards. Auction? Perfect. I legitimately will look. As I said. I, uh, I buy lots of cards on eBay for, uh, for chancers and stuff like that, and... One was posted on, yeah. And that's what I'm saying, True. To me, I don't know. Again, I've always been on the, the point of integrity matters and honesty matters. So it bugs me that scoring kings of Madonna. So, like, I literally have not been on Matthews because I could see issues with it. So, we'll see. All-time finalist of Sackick for the Avalanche. Super six for the Avalanche of Joe Sackick. Uh, we got some baseball on our on our store. We got a finalist of Daryl Sittler for the Leafs. Uh, you know what, Austin? I agree with you. That's the other thing we've had conversations on. It blows my mind how many people just completely ignore the Beckett issue and the trimming issue. But yawn, Denny, for the Habs. That's the other reason why I get really, really, really upset. Like, you're talking some massive, massive, massive problems. And people just, ah, don't worry about it. Difference Makers Jersey, Jerome Ginla. Beautiful two-color swatch, Calgary Flames. It's just weird because, like, I feel like if I scammed you guys, I don't think I could ever do group breaks again. Finalist of Bossy for the Islanders. At least I would hope to God that you guys wouldn't let me do breaks again. Different makers of Tamal Rutu for the Hawks. Like, to me, I don't know. I don't know how people just let that go. St 
Stevniak for the Blues. Rookie. But Austin, everyone has their opinions. They're allowed to it. And again, that's the beautiful thing about choices, right? That is the beautiful thing about choices. You don't have to do anything that anyone else says. I said, I like to support a good Canadian company because I want to support a good Canadian company. Borg for the Hawks. They are definitely consistent. Yes. LA and Vegas, or sorry, Vancouver, Vegas, no problems. We've got a Steen rookie for the Maple Leafs. Brandon, you would think so though, right? But again, that's very similar to the PSA and the Beckett thing. That's why I'm saying it's absolutely hilarious. Like, I feel like if I scammed or something came out as a scandal, I feel like that would not be a good thing. That's actually a really good auto. A fresh ink auto, Owen Nolan. Fresh ink auto, Owen Nolan. Whole wig for the Rangers, rookie. I was going to say, oh, and no, that's a decent auto, like, decent auto card. Finalist of Rick Nash for the Jackets. But yeah, Austin, you're completely correct. I, again, it just blows my mind. I just don't understand how people were cool with that, but it is what it is. Scoring Kings of St. Louis for the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think they were, Jason. They're pretty rare, weren't they? Wozniewski rookie for the Maple Leafs. Yeah, you know what, ITR? I love the, uh, I own that stuff. Ottawa Senators, Alfredson. The good news is it seems like every time I have dinners... Or I know anyone in the industry, somehow I own them, which is crazy and sorry to burst the bubble, people. I've had dinner with uh, NHL executives and NHL PA executives, so I don't know if I own both those yet. But I am working hard on that, just so you guys know. Like, I figured if I own Universal, Upper Deck, and m and I might as well go for NHL next. Patrick Eves, rookie for the Sens. I just feel that's the next logical step. I just... Keep working my way up, right? Why well, go backwards? SPX. Why go backwards? You know what the only thing is, ITR, and we've we've talked about this before. I'm still very confused of why do I own those companies, but I don't own other card stores. Four ninety nine Sevior for the Dallas Stars. Like, in all honesty, why why can I not own all the card stores too? A lot of those card group breakers literally stemmed from my website. They were members joining our breaks. So explain to me why. No one has come up with that of like, oh, maybe I own them all. I don't understand that. Because those are legit people who joined our breaks, were members on our site, literally created web uh, stores. Obviously, a lot of them I had chat chats with. Finite rookie of greening to four ninety nine. Helped them as much as I could. So why don't I own those people? <laughs> I have trusted. That is partially true. That is, uh, yeah. So if anyone knows my personality, that's also why I don't own a second store. So. Where the heck is all the memorabilia and autos in here?
We've got a winning combos dual jersey for the Penguins of Crosby and Flurry. Winning combos dual jersey Crosby Flurry. We've got a winning materials. Roberto Luongo, Vancouver Canucks, dual jersey. 5% royalties. I know. I'm just saying, it's kind of weird. Like how some people think I like universal. Oh, that is sick. Shadow box signatures. Steven Stamkos. Tampa Bay Lightning, Steven Stamkos. He doesn't sign too often. Very, very little does he sign. Damn. Um, I would say we were the first true hockey breakers in the world, but who like who actually took this seriously. Seven ninety nine, Eric Goodbranson for the Panthers. Like there's. You gotta remember, there's always people who just, you know, they busted. Like, even before group breaks, I was opening with some buddies. Like, we would buy a box and we'd split the box four or five ways. And for the Flyers, Matt Reed. So, technically, those are group breaks. Matt Reed. But in terms of taking this, like, a legit business, absolutely. Yeah. $9.99, Colton Tuber. For the Oilers. And JND, one cool stat that I love. Almost every single big hockey group breaker in the world was a member of our site, pretty much. There's literally, and I'm talking like bigger ones. I'm not talking small, like, you know, Facebook group. Almost every single big uh, Canada group breaker joined our group breaks Started uh started from our site, which I it makes me very happy to know that uh, it's grown that much, honestly. Makes me really, really, really happy. Yeah, I saw that, Dave. I don't know if I really like those cards, honestly. That doesn't really intrigue me too too much. For the Islanders, Mike Bossy Red. Christian Juice for the Capitals, Blue. And an exceptional talent of Butcher for the Devils. And that's why, in all honesty, guys, the comp, like, I would say competition per se. But I actually, like, I love the other guys that do this stuff. Because they do it the right way, and I always appreciate that. Nicholas Kurdilis for the Anaheim Ducks, Red. We've got an Alex Formentin for the Ottawa Senators. Rookie. And we got a Impact Players of Pavelski for the Sharks. Like, it truly does make me happy when other stores take this hobby seriously and open a store. The guys in Ottawa, honestly, like, that makes me so freaking happy. Nathan McKinnon for the Avalanche. Red. Number 24, Newcomers of Sveshnikov. And, and just to be clear, guys, do not take this that I'm saying that I did any of the work for these guys. I'm saying I'm happy that they created a very similar um, good experience for members, which is I think is very vital for the hobby to grow. And a newcomers of Brat for the New Jersey Devils. That's what I mean by it. Not that I'm happy that, you know, I didn't do nothing. They did everything pretty much. Tampa Bay Lightning, Kucherov. I'm just happy that real stores open up. Customers get in there. Cast for greatness of Lungfist for the Rangers. Like legitimately my biggest, my biggest, one of my biggest pet peeves in the industry is when people just don't care about the hobby growing. They only care about themselves growing. Impact players of Sagan for the Stars. So... Vegas Golden Knights, Mark andre Fleury. So that's my true feelings. Red. 
We've got the Devils, Taylor Hall, blue. New Jersey Devils. And a newcomer to Flurry for the Canes. For a cupcake sauce, that's crazy. We got an Islanders, Mike Bossy. Auto Senator, or sorry, Islanders. We got a Minnesota Wild Blue of Dubnik. And an exceptional talent of Burns for the Sharks. Vintage packs, no, Frank. For the Maple Leafs, Matthews. For the Rangers, Lungfist Blue. That Stammer card, JD, is probably about $3,000, so not that much. Don't worry about it. And a career spanning New Jersey Blues. Random. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> just so you know. You're probably like, God damn. Lou Kunin. Red for the Wild. Green for the Jets of Shifley. I would bet probably around 75 to 150. It's a very good card. Impact players of McKinnon for the Avalanche. So again, ladies and gentlemen, in my odds opinion, always support the stores that are actually doing a good job and actually care about the hobby. I know it's, uh, you know, it is your guys' money to do what you want. You guys can join whatever the heck you want, but support the people that have invested their time and money in the hobby too. For the Habs, Carey Price. Red. We've got a exceptional futures of Ty Della Andrea to 749. Dallas Stars. And a Blue Jackets Liam Foodie, 799. We've got a red of Besser for the Vancouver Canucks. For the Islanders, 449, Matthew Barzel. 49 and a Velarde for the LA Kings Roaring 20s. What's up, sir? How you doing? We've got a Alexiev Red for the Caps. This is a nice card. Damn. We've got number 10 of 21. Base auto for the Devils. Nico Heesher. Nico Heesher for the Devils. That's sick. I love those cards. And we got a Iserman 899 for the Red Wings. The crazy thing is, obviously they do fill quickly. I really hope you guys realize that this break should have been around 780 bucks a spot. For the Vancouver Canucks, Quinn Hughes. Red. We've got an FX of Kane for the Hawks, 749. So not only is this deal like, or this break massive, Zabinishad constant threats for the Rangers. We also do a crazy deal on these. Anaheim Ducks, Hackenpah. Some scary numbers if you guys want to know. 15, 16, and 16, 17 cup are about $10,000 together. We've got an exceptional young stars, Miro Heiskanen, to 99. So think about that. Those two alone. So if anyone wants to take 31 spots divided by 10,000, what's that number equal? 333 or around that 300? Drew Doughty, 899. Or, sorry, am I off on that? No, no, that'd be around that. 300 bucks. We've got a Vegas Golden Knights. Quinny. Rookie. For the Vancouver Canucks, FX of Besser. But I feel like Mega Monsters have to have 15, 16 cup. By the way, the Quinny's got that rip on the top again. All stars of Ovechkin for the Caps. J and D, I honestly, it's crazy how much cup is now. Calgary Flames, Monahan, and it just keeps going up. So, exceptional star, seven forty nine, or futures of Joseph for the Penguins. Because what did that three tin case go for? About seven thousand a tin, I think we talked about. Eight ninety nine, D Pietro. So 
So think about that. 7,000 to 10 is pretty much what the market is paying for a three, uh, three tin case. Boston Bruins, Bergeron, red. So you almost, like, more than half this break are those two tins. FX to 749 of Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. FX. And a Roaring Twenties of Robertson for the Dallas Stars. So, yeah, it, it's crazy. Hold on to your... Yeah, right now, again, let's presume the market doesn't crash at all or anytime soon. They are not going down those cases. So the last person that I knew that had a six box case of 16, 17, uh, I think, what were they asking? I'm trying to remember. I think they wanted uh, 18,000 plus taxes for a 16 or for a six box case. I think it was 18,000. We've got a 225 piece of history, Bondra. For 1617, so. Keep you in mind? Oh, geez. Well, you keep me in mind if you ever want to, you know, discount and uh, sell it. <laughs> I'm just joking. For the Capitals, I love these cards. Tools of the game to 99. Olaf Kolzeg. Like, realistically, Ryan, you probably would get a lot of offers between the eleven to 12000 right now. That's probably what you'd get no problem from most dealers who would want that. To give you an idea. We've got a new Grooves rookie, Jay Bowmeister. Bo Meester to 750. That's sweet. And a dual jersey, which would be random between Anaheim and Pittsburgh. Mario Lemieux and Paul Correa. So I don't know what you paid for it, Ryan, but I don't think you paid probably eleven or twelve thousand for it. So I hope uh, you've done very well with it. You haven't had the nerve. Wow. That's crazy. We've got for the Red Wings, 999, Gordy Howe. You have a rare item, sir. Trust me, a very rare item. Between the Flyers and the Blues, Kachuk and Leclerc. 225, Kachuk, Leclerc. That's amazing, though. Good for you. That, uh, that makes me very happy. We've got a flashbacks of Eric Daze for the Hawks. And we've got for the Calgary Flames, Chris Drury. 225. What I'm curious about is how high are 15, 16, and uh, yeah, 15, 16, and 16, 17 going to get for cases? Leopold, 750. Calgary Flames. And we've got for the Nashville Predators, Martin Erat. Like, in all honesty, if a 310 case of 1516 goes for about 20,000 Canadian, which is what it did go for, that's not even a guaranteed case hit. What would a 610 guaranteed case hit go for? That's. That's one thing I would love to know. Like, that to me is crazy. That the warehouse has one. Sorry, what warehouse? I don't know what that means. Retro rookie number four. If someone does not mind, let me know what that means. Who number four was, sorry. We've got for the Maple Leafs rookie, Nick Robertson. Two ninety nine for the Habs of Tatar. I was gonna say what warehouse? I'm kind of curious. It's thirty five. Actually, realistically, sounds crazy to say. It's not that horrible of a rate. 
99 for the Flyers, Claude Giroux. Oh. <laughs> 2 dollars Bellows for the Islanders. Oh, a distributor had a, a 15-16 or 16-17. One seventy-five Holt B for the Caps. You think it's Romanov? All right. If uh, someone's to double check, I'll announce it once I know. Holy jeez, Ryan! For the Anaheim Ducks, number to fifteen dual fight strap. Of Silverberg. Number four is Romanov for Montreal. Beautiful. Thank you. Silverberg. Dual fight strap. Anaheim's on the board with a decent one. Were you considering it though at all, Ryan, or no? And for the Vancouver Canucks, Patterson. Vancouver, Patterson, Orem. Oh, you got the keys now. No. Of course. The point is, well, yeah. That's great. Well, again, for anyone who wants to know, so that's why I do say these mega breaks are going to be extremely rare. To give you an idea, Ryan, and obviously not it's disclosing everything... If I could get a six box case of 15, 16 cup, if the price that you said is still below what I'd be paying, Braden Holpe for the Capitals. So think about that, guys. <laughs> That's lower than what I would be paying. Carolina Edmondson update. We've got a red limited of the Blue Jackets Dubois and a future watch. Of flurry for the halves. But it is, it's nuts what those cases have gone, like, are going to. Like, honestly. Spectrum of Marner for the Maple Leafs. Uh, these ones are extremely well priced, yeah. Caden Flurry for the halves. Spectrum Future Watch. SP Essentials for the Panthers of Barkov. That's what I'm saying. Isn't that scary though, guys, that my cost is over that price? My literal cost is over 35000 If If I were to be able to get a case, I don't even know if I can. And a Max Jones, three ninety nine for the Anaheim Ducks Retro Future Watch. Max Jones. Moment of the Blue Jackets. That is nuts. Honestly nuts. Moment of Chara for the Boston Bruins. You know what would be cool to know? How many six box cases of cups do you honestly think are left unopened right now? Chandler Stevenson for the Vegas Gold Knights. Because I have not seen almost anyone post any cup of 15-16. Essentials of Murray for the Penguins. But like legitimately, how much of those do you think are actually out there? Dre Seidel, Red Limited. Linus Omar for the Buffalo Sabres. Update. I don't think there's a lot, no. That is a nice one. Number to 100. Limited auto patch. And it looks like it was kind of miscut just so you guys know. Number to 100. Sveshnikov. Little miscut on the left side you guys can see. But still a very beautiful patch auto. Nice. 
Brandon, the only only reason I would I would disagree with a lot or keep sealed is the money right now is very good. Why would people not do it? Dumba Red Limited for the wild. <laughs> Trim. Moment, Stamkos, Tampa Bay. Hold on, did I miss a red limited? No, that just was Columbus color. But what do you guys, how, what, everyone else guess, what do you guys think? Mitchell Stevens, Young Guns, Tampa. Do you think there's more than 5, 10, 50? SPS Centros for the Rangers, Panarin. Uh, Dylan, I don't know if he's, uh, how, oh well, no, 1920. They might do it. They might do it, yeah. Not too sure. Yeah, but you know what, Brandon? You would always you'd sell it at a certain point, right? That's the thing. There's always a point that you would sell. I I know a lot of people who buy products. And you sit there and go, well, I'm going to hold it for my kid's future. But the thing is, if it triples in value, you probably want to move it. Kachuk Orange for the Flames. And an Ice Premieres of Hiroshi for the Red Wings. No, Upper Deck is definitely does not keep any. Well, sorry. They're not supposed to keep any. Who knows? But I don't think so. I'm just trying to figure out who has them. Because all the big guys in the U.S., no, almost nobody's got 15-16 cup. Coyotes, Kessel Green. And an exquisite rookie, the two ninety nine Kirby Doc. So that's the thing is like, why would these people not be listing any of it then? If it's uh, like, don't get me wrong, I do think my distributor has a couple, whether he's moving them in cases or not. Aho for the Canes, uh, green, and for the Panthers. Brady Keeper, three ninety nine. Brady Keeper. You bet you're rich, buddy. It would be cool to know what people do have. Like, that is going to be a massively rare item. Well, it already is, but we got Vancouver Besser Green and a nine ninety nine Max Varanu for the Ottawa Senators. Like I said. If you bought that case back in the day, you probably bought it for like three, three and a half thousand. Green of Huberto or Barkov, sorry, for the Panthers. And a four ninety nine of Nikolai for Corcoran. So when you can turn like three, four thousand into thirty five thousand, that is I don't see how people just don't want to sell. Scoop them up. You know what, as I said, I would honestly love to. Scoop as many as I could, but again, the price at this point, I wouldn't say it doesn't make sense, but it honestly doesn't make sense. <laughs> like as I said, Ryan said above thirty-five thousand. I just told you candidly, my cost would be over that for a case. So I, I grab them when I get them for monsters, and that's pretty much John Tavares for the Maple Leafs. John Tavares. For the Calgary Flames, Matthew Kachuk. So, I'm hoping the price does not go up too much in the next, like, month. For the Blue Jackets, 399 Bemstrom. Is it U.S. or Canadian? D's, just so I know. For the Islanders, 149 Noah Dobson. Green. No adoption. For the Dallas Stars to 85, Joe Pavelski. Because if that's 4,000 Canadian, I will be buying them. Happily. San Jose wants, uh, no, number 75, Joe Thornton. Yeah, US, okay. So what's that equal about five? Actually, still not a good bad deal. Cross border would be a bit of a brute for uh, duties and taxes. One ninety nine, Julian Gauthier. Julian Gauthier. And we've got number twenty, esteemed blue, 
Joe Pavelski for the Dallas Stars. 20 of 20, Pavelski. I'd be curious, Steve, if he's got singles or does he have uh, cases at that price? If he's legit, if he does have a case, I probably would be interested in buying that. And we've got a Sandine Reliance for the Leafs. But I'd be a little scared to buy that uh, if it's only singles because I try to buy it so that way, you know, ideally all the case hits are available or potentially. Now, if I had to only buy it by ones, you know, not the end of the world, I'll do what I can get, but. For the Coyotes, Shadow Box rookie, Dylan Strom. Dylan Strom. We've got number two fifteen. Ice Shredders Dual Patch, Marion Gabarik. Marion Gabarik. For the Calgary Flames, 99 auto Monahan. Are you kidding me? Ten and a half thousand a spot? Jesus. And for the Buffalo Sabres, extravagant materials, Jack Eichel. Sounds crazy, but that's actually not that bad considering how much the spots are. Because if a six box case is about $35,000, it's actually not bad value for the, uh, the break. That's crazy. Is that on auction or is that what they're asking like buy now best offer type thing? LA Kings, Felix Potvin. 399. For the Carolina Hurricanes, Arturs Urbe. <laughs> That's funny out here. For the Bruins and the Devils, number to 50, Thornton Neuendijk. So that will be random. And for the Devils, Stanislav Gron, rookie. Really, Link? That's interesting. So, hold on. How does that work? What do they? How does that benefit them? Out of curiosity. I'm kind of curious if that. Because uh... how how would that actually benefit them to pull something and just not get it? They don't stock anything. For the Blue Jackets, Seth Jones. Seth Jones, 299. For the Vancouver Canucks, 199 rookie, Quinn Hughes. Wow.
For the Boston Bruins, 249 Carson Kuhlman. How, how is that possible they could do that, though? Just out, out of curiosity. So they take your money, they don't get the break in, and they don't give you a refund? For the Vegas Golden Knights, pursuing greatness rookie signatures, Cody Glass. Wow, that's bad, honestly. Nice Vegas card. For the Maple Leafs, 99 of 99, Matthews. Isn't her dad better? Link, I don't, yeah, I can't knock that if they're, if they're starting up. So we started from a room too, so I can't really knock that too, too much. 99, Morgan Frost. Six months for breaks. Ugh. Merry Christmas, yeah. And a Boakvist for the Hawks. Some have waited years. That's honest, that's bad. I, again, I don't want to judge without knowing all the stories because maybe maybe certain people's experience are just bad. Again, there's people who think that we suck too, so. For the Capitals, Marcus Johansson, three ninety nine. For the Vancouver Canucks, Troy Stetcher. Jeez. I do laugh when people get skunked, apparently, yeah. For the Habs, Sergachev. That's kind of funny. That's a nice one. 99. Super rookie patch auto Sergachev for the Habs. Sergachev. With the potato, yeah. I love that saying, the potato. Wow, that's a nice box. Signatures for the Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl. Premier Signatures. Leon Dreisaitl. For the Penguins. Crosby to 199. Yeah, that's, again, not to make a massive comment fest on this because everyone runs their business differently. I, I, I just never would do that. I think literally over the 11 years, but that was a crazy shipping time that I was supposed to get it and then they came damaged. I don't post unless I know I have it. AJ Greer for the Avalanche. Ah, that's crazy, Jason. Well, I'm sorry that you had to go through that. I said it, uh, that sucks. We've got a Stevenson for the Capitals. Like, in all honesty, I can understand it, Leon. Like, obviously, we post uh, release breaks, right? We post release breaks. We don't technically have the product. Steven send a three ninety nine for the cap, so I do understand that. But 
Like, if that's your casual business, no. Nah. Three ninety nine, Henrik. Yeah, and I don't. That's what I'm saying, Leon. That that's you gotta be careful with that. You gotta be careful. For the Calgary Flames, three seventy five, Emil Poirier. Emil Poirier, nice four color. Oh, nice. We've got it's uh, it'll be part of the expired redemption raffle. Max Domi for the Coyotes. Sass, you are right. Yeah, we do know we're getting them. I know it's uh, with COVID over the last year and a half, some stores just didn't get it on release day. That does happen. But yeah, I, I don't know. That's that's why I love it, Mason and uh, Jason when. When customers come in here and like, your break has taken two days to fill. It's taken forever. It's like, if only you knew. Two days is actually not bad. Three ninety nine, Garrett Sparks. Uh, on Brandon, that's something that Dan deals with on the uh, non hockey stuff. And for the Oilers, Slepeshev, Ricky Otto. Three ninety nine, Slepeshev. So. But that's why, like, when we build monsters and we do these breaks, like, it takes a bit of time to plan because I gotta, I gotta bring in all the stuff in, find it all out, scope it, get it. It's not just, uh, not just easy. We've got number to two ninety nine, exquisite patch, Dylan Strom. Uh, so if you go to the top left of our website, there'll be a UD links. If you check out the expired redemption raffle link, it'll give you the information on that. Dan's contact information, klutzenchara at gmail. <laughs> For the Tampa Bay Lightning, Stamkos. For the Vancouver Canucks, Team Logo Jumbos, Alexander Edler. Uh, no, the boxes will be random at the end. I literally will take all 31 boxes. Random, random, random. Everyone gets uh, one box beside their name. Rookie signatures to 125. Sonny Milano. Sonny Milano. We've got... For the Dallas Stars, 99 Diamond, Jason Dickinson. And Leon, I do appreciate that. Is that we do, we do try our best. So we're not perfect. We can always make things better. We're always open to things. Dickinson Diamond. And for the Rangers, Jimmy VC399. Ricky Gems. The last Habs game, uh, that one won, won me money. I put money on uh, Winnipeg, so thank you, Habs. Speaking of, numbered one of 15 exquisite sticks, Mike Keane. Mike Keen. That's a beautiful stick piece. That is filthy. Dallas Stars, say again. But I will say, I think Montreal deserved to win that game by far. For the Chicago Blackhawks, championship rings, Duncan Keith. Duncan Keith. For the Florida Panthers, black signatures in 99, Aaron Ekblad. Aaron 
Aaron Eckblad. For the Red Wings, the 25 relic of Zetterberg. Zetterberg. And a rookie gems of 399, Sam Bennett. You know the other thing that, uh, speaking of fun things or not fun things right now in the hobby, is trying to talk to customers who buy boxes now who did not know, which is fair. When they open these boxes, they go, how could Upper Deck produce something that sells for like $1,000 a box and they give you that value in there? And I try to always remind people, they produced that when that was like $300 value, not $1,000 value. <laughs> And for example, even uh, even with Cup, the amount of people that do not realize that in a normal year, this Cup would be about five ninety nine. So when they're producing this, it's not a this this honestly would have been one of the best Cup years at five ninety nine in my opinion, value wise. Like this was a really good year they did uh, on Cup. But I saw that I saw that originally on basketball first. People were going crazy on that. Two forty nine Pekka Rene. Two forty nine Pekka Rene. For the Penguins, two forty nine John Marino. John Marino. We've got number to 99, Signature Materials Patch Auto, Ryan Paling for the Habs. Paling for the Habs. That's a nice card. Numbered one of 12, Gold Base Auto, Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane out of 12. For the Montreal Canadiens, 249, Flurry. 249 Flurry. And we got a Tampa Bay Lightning 249 Volkov. Volkov. All right. Let's go, Matthews, Marner, Line, Barzel. Who else? Aho. Um, Nylander. Who else am I forgetting here? Provorov, connect me. Let's go. Line eight. I think I said line eight, did I not? Ehlers for the Jets. 249 Ehlers. For the Devils, 249 Blake Spears. Two forty nine Blake Spears. For the Islanders, Enshrinement Auto to 99, Denny Podven.
Enshrinements Auto. Nice card. Denny Potvin. We've got a Gold Spectrum Auto number to 12 for the Dallas Stars. Jamie Ben. Gold Spectrum. Expired Redemption Raffle. Nice. We've got a one of one rookie printing plate, Roman Lubomov. Roman Lubomov. One of one printing plate. And not a bad finish on this one. Wayne Gretzky base to two forty nine. Wayne Gretzky. Even the cup base cards nowadays are going crazy. Everything's going crazy. What's not going crazy? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, we're going to try to have these uh, as many Mega Monsters as we can going forward. But I don't know when you're going to see maybe one of the last ones ever done. So, keep that in mind. This very well could be one of the last that we ever do. Even that tin is going to be worth some money soon. Two forty nine Latera. For the Blues, 249 Yori Laterra. For the Ottawa Senators, Shane Prince. Shane Prince. Well, that's a pretty card. We've got, hey, jersey numbered, four of 35 dual signature patches for the Los Angeles Kings of Rob Blake and Luke Robitaille. Blake Robitaille dual signatures. Jersey number to Rob Blake. Oh, tease. Numbered three of 12. Heart skipped. Base gold auto for the Oilers. Taylor Hall. I just saw gold and I saw Oilers and I was like, oh. then uh, still not a bad card, but I'm not going to lie, almost had a mini heart attack. Three of 12. We've got for the Penguins, one of one printing plate auto. Daniel Sprong, one of one printing plate auto, Daniel Sprong. And we've got for the Habs number to 36, Charles Hudon. Gold.